Hey, this is me, Easy Rock. You know, I'm very curious how good the old iPad Pro from 2017 is for video editing. And to make it even more exciting, we will make a battle against the new MacBook Air with M1 chip inside. Luckily, because of the new M1 chip, MacBook Air can support iPadOS or iOS apps, and on both we can use Luma Fusion. Like, subscribe, and thanks for watching my videos. In round 1, I'll place one 4K video next to another 4K video up to 9 videos on both laptops and we will see which device will slow down first and how they will act when we will have all 9 4K videos on the screen in the same time. In round 2, I will apply the same effects on the same 4K video on both devices and we will see which one will win. This is 10.5 inch 2017 iPad Pro. And as you can see, it can handle 4K footage quite easily. Now 3 4K videos in the same time. Wow, can it handle 4? No, not really. MacBook Air is just phenomenal. One iPad Pro is struggling even more. And we reach limit of tracks and Luma Fusion. New M1 processor is a real deal. Now we'll apply as many effects as possible on the same video. This is the heaviest filters you can apply on your footage. And we will add as many as possible so we can see how it will run. This is 4K footage from Sony A6400. This is crazy. MacBook Pro, Air or Mac Mini. These are new kings for video editing. In the next video we will see similar test MacBook Air vs base model 16 inch MacBook Pro. And trust me, spoilers, it is mind blowing. Well, it seems it doesn't matter how many filters you add on any of these devices. They're both doing really good job, but clearly MacBook Air is winner here but also it is newer. Now let's see a bonus round, 6 videos in one render time. Highest video quality and let's go. This video is 30 seconds long and it took 47 seconds for iPad Pro to render it. This is awesome. I am very impressed with the new M1 chip. This is clearly a new era in mobile technology. Subscribe, like and thanks for watching my video. I will see you in the next one. Пока!